I was in the middle of feeling a little funky with myself and not understand, like doubting, you know, my existence, doubting my power and going through some health conditions. Um, I had just, when I signed up to this program, I had just had um, a major surgery, which was really killing my, not only my body, but more importantly, my spirit being, right? Um, it was really just attacking uh, my personality and where do I stand in this world? You made a crazy depiction of my mother and my and the, the, the traits between my current employer. And when you put the, when you just came hard at me, because listen, there's a lot of things I see, but sometimes we need someone else from with fresh eyes to just say, it's this. That depiction was my aha moment, my what the? F is going on moment. When we're in a high position, there's a lot of women who are in competition with each other because that's the the culture, especially in politics. And this is a boys world, right? Like there's a boys club. And you know, when you're trying to burst the bubble, it's almost like they put us at each other's throat. Your, your inner happiness translates to everything, to yourself, to your job, to your family, like however, whatever joy you're carrying around, it translates everywhere. And more importantly, if you're not happy, you're going to make yourself sick. All right. So I am here today with Miss Denise Felipe Adams. She is the executive director for the Mayor's Office of Innovation and Emerging Markets, a newly created office under current Mayor Eric Adams. Miss Denise Felipe Adams is a first generation Dominican American born in the Lower East Side of Manhattan of New York. Oh, God. Let's see. Go she right knows a but You got a lot. I mean, you want me to read all of it? I can read no, all of it. We'll no, you don't need to. <laughs> the important part. Okay, we're going to be, we'll be here all day. Uh, I mean, you're so great. All right. She got a Bachelor of Arts degree in psychology from Ashley University. She's a visionary leader and impactful innovator who is passionate about elevating the voices of women and minority communities pursuing equity and using her creative wit and determination to create opportunities for Latinos to thrive economically and engage politically. Ms. Felipe Adams was the special assistant to the Brooklyn Borough President Eric L. Adams and worked extensively on his succession of his mayoral campaign by raising over one, what is that? That's $18 million. Go get him, Denise. <laughs> She was a paralegal and dedicated personal assistant to the Honorable William C. Thompson, who's deceased, uh, the retired associate justice of the Appellate Division, Second Department, and father to Honorable Bill Thompson, Jr., former New York City Comptroller. She has he was my an mentor. He was my mentor, too. He was your mentor? Okay. Mm -hmm. Better put that in there. She served as the assistant governor for Rotary International District 72. Five, five, and chartered president of the North Brooklyn Rotary Club that provided services to others, promote integrity, and advance world understanding through goodwill, peace. All right. Her love for her community and her family is apparent. Look, welcome, Denise. We're going to be here all day. God, go. <laughs> I mean, we only we only work with bad ASS unicorn riding queens over here at Vision Finder International. So it's no wonder that all of our women's bios are like an hour. So, all right. So Denise, what was going on with you when you decided you needed to do something different? What was going on? Ooh, what was going on with me? Oh, well, thank you for having me on here. And um, I was in the middle of feeling a little funky with myself and not understand, like doubting, um, you know, my existence, doubting my power and going through some health conditions. Um, I had just, when I signed up to this program, I had just had um, a major surgery, which was really killing my, not only my body, but more importantly, my spirit being right. Um, it was really just attacking uh, my personality and, where do I stand in this world? And, you know, that could be a dark place for a lot of people, especially like alpha females, people who are assertive and know how to do their thing. And they know that, they are, that their energy is missed everywhere. And we want to do it all. We think we're the boss. We think we're the only ones who could do it the right way. Um, or that, you know, nothing can move without our presence around. So, yeah, it was like a little dark, funky place, really funky. 
and I saw, and I caught a glimpse of you on on Instagram. <laughs> caught a glimpse of you on Instagram, and there was something that resonated. You know, your sassiness, and I'm like, I'm sassy, I'm loud, I like this energy. I need a person like this in my life <laughs> to 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 help me direct. What am I doing? You know, what what's going on with me? Why am I not pushing forward? Why I feel stuck? Right? Because I felt really stuck in a crazy energy that didn't serve me. So, yeah. That's that's what I was. <laughs> you just call me sassy. I I am not sassy. I'm extra. Okay, uh, I'll stick I love people that label me. You label me sassy. Uh. <laughs> that's fine. Listen. <laughs> that's All right. Fine. So so you were stuck. When did, when did we start working together? Because you got you. This has only been like four months, right? Because you got broke free fast. It didn't take that long. It didn't. No, it didn't take that long. It didn't take that long. I had my surgery in June, and while I was home recuperating, so I think we signed up like in July. Yeah. And yeah, that, that's when I was a um, little stuck. I didn't really want to tell a lot of people what was my major situation, but I will say yeah, I had stage three uterine cancer. Um, I'm a young person. Young at everything and energy and just life. And I was really going through turmoil. Like, am I going to ever have a family? Do I make this decision? Plus, plus, I was really feeling a lot of uncertainty in my job. Mm -hmm. It was just a lot of things around me that was circling around me was just making me a little crazy. And it was the, I was, it, that was coming out in my conversations with friends, with colleagues, and just everybody around me, even family. So I had to like take a pause with myself and just do a lot of inner work, reflection. And this program really helped a lot. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm excited about your updates because you said you had some. So, yeah. So you were spiraling pretty much and, and you built a community of people who supported the spiral because they loved you. Does that make sense? My yeah. light ain't right. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to work on my light. I got the sun in my face because it's 85 degrees where I am. And it's oh, gloomy it. here. It's gloomy here in New York. I know. <laughs> I know. Y'all, y'all got American problems. Y'all in the cold, <laughs> and um, and I got coral green in the background. We gonna work on this background. I don't like my background because I like to be fine when I look at myself. Everybody knows that. But anyway, okay, back to you. So, um, you were spiraling. You created a story about your spiral, and you had people who loved you, who supported you in that. And then one day, because I talked to a lot of women, Denise, who are, you know, one puff from crazy. Mm -hmm. Right. They got one left. There is, it's one and it's over. So you knew it and they know it too, but they choose not to do anything. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I always tell women and, and the title of this is destiny is closer than you think, because we think that the, the path to wholeness is as huge and as great as the Grand Canyon. So what was surprising to you, um, about yourself as you started to do the work what was what was most surprising to you um my strength my just just really feeling bidding on myself right being kind to myself and bidding on myself and just really being supportive of who i am and as a person um and not doubting myself not letting other people speak to me so i was so majorly surprised of how influential and impactful i am to just everyone I can't hear you, Christy. Can't hear you. Okay, because you know, you saw the look on my face. You were like, you didn't know you were influential and impactful? Well, no, know? I doubted that about myself because there's always like naysayers around you. And the fact that realistically, what I was going through in that very moment, I it was like five years of campaigning, mm -hmm. a lot of stuff. And then the one person who I was super loyal to, even more loyal than to myself, I was just like, I'm not getting rec recognized. I'm not being seen. Is this person not understanding how loyal I am and what's going on? You know, and I was really, I allowed, I, I don't know why I allowed myself mm -hmm. to really rely on other people's approval for, for me to understand how important I am and my value. Th that's all it really was. I allowed other folks because it was just like, I wasn't stepping up as fast enough as I wanted to. You know, and it's it's all divine timing. At the end of the day, it's like you can't do too much to be liked by everyone. Who gives a crap? I need to like myself, right? So <laughs> that 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 was a major thing for me. Mm, you said something that was so good. You said it's the key. You couldn't see how great you were 
and how valuable you were because you relied on other people to to tell you and they weren't doing that. So you're basically suffocating, waiting for somebody to validate your high value, which they didn't. And then you lost the ability to because we do that, right? Like you lost the ability to be able to do that for yourself. So you didn't know your value. Mm-hmm. I needed, it's it's unfortunate that the way we function in this world is I didn't need a validation from everyone. I just needed it from one person, just one person in particular. And that was just degrading. It was just a lot. Um, I released too much power with that. And I'm really happy I am where I'm at, I'm at right now, to be honest with you. I'm really, really happy. I do want to say this. I had a great conversation. I have a network of women in this program, strong, wonderful just powerful and just a creative woman, which is something I really needed. I really needed to be outside of the usual realm that I was in of folks that was just like tolerating me and just being in a place where, wow, things resonate with other women, great women, right? Things are, stories are resonating. How can we empower each other? This is help for, for everyone. And not only that, I have a great group, and I see they're commenting here. Uh, another group that's called that Las Comadres is my Dominican ladies. We we are in- entrepreneurs, you know, elected officials. We're all making a, a great impact in the city, and we also needed validation from upper up people, right? From other elected officials. And one day we were all just like, "F this stuff! Like, let's just empower each other. Let's rely on each other. Let's, you know, just just support each other." And the world is ours. Forget everybody else. So between this program and my other groups, great, strong bonds, because that's important, having good bond, good people of high vibrational folks who are just like, I'm I'm going to lift you up too, Denise. Not this crap lifting you, you know, bringing you down, but just lifting you up and holding you accountable in love. That's so important. So important. I received that with all my wonderful ladies from this group, from Vision Finders. Um, I, I definitely want to say something to you because it was something that was very impactful, my breakthrough moment, if you allow me to share it. <laughs> hey, Chris Rutherford here. I hope that you enjoyed the podcast so far. But what I know that you'll love even more is joining us in our private community. Join us in this private community. Let Money loves happy people and get live and on-demand insights so you can use this information to live the life that you truly and deserve. Get a raise and a promotion, no problem. Step into your purpose, no problem. Get the relationship that you deserve, no problem. Look, it's never too late to live the life that you deserve. It's never too late to live a life of total fulfillment. You just need information and inspiration to get on the path of living your greater life. So go ahead again, click on the link on around this video. Join us in our private community and change your life for the best. Take care. See you soon. I had a breakthrough moment with you. Um, Cassandra was amazing with me because there was a couple of things that I want to share before I get to the Cassandra story. But with you was really in the part of the program where you really depicted side by side my childhood trauma along with my current trauma. And you made this this crazy depiction. You made it to unmute yourself. You made a crazy depiction of my mother and my and the, the the traits between my current employer and when you put the when you just came hard at me because listen there's a lot of things i see but sometimes we need someone else from with fresh eyes to just say it's this that depiction was my aha moment my what the f is going on moment this is what it really is so i was able to do like i did the work through your program but i was able to really direct the work like hardcore on the we got to we gotta cut these childhood bonds, these traumas that, I, that I'm having. And I did the work immediately. Once you, that night, like you and I were on conversations separately from the group, I worked on it immediately. That was forgiveness. That was letting go, forgiveness of myself, forgiveness of other folks that really were holding space that they didn't, they didn't need to. And it was just instant for me. It was like instant. Hold, hold on. We're going <laughs> to unpack that. So we got we got two things to talk about. I mean, you're looking very fresh. I was I was so focused on how I look because, you know, I got to be fine. But I didn't really see all this fineness and this joy on this line right now. So I just looked to my how up. You know I got some news to share. That's why I got some great news. Oh, my God. You look like you're the DH 25 years in the face. All right. <laughs> you look good. You look good. Okay. Thank you. So uh, let's talk about connection and women. 
right? Mm -hmm. Because in leadership, we're so lonely. And a lot of women want me to, you know, I talked to a lot of women who want to do one-on-one coaching. And I'm like, I don't do one-on-one coaching, right? Not anymore, because there's so much power in connecting with other women who are on a similar journey, who are just as bad ASS, right? Like there's so much power in that. And there's so much power in connection because we're, we're lonely in leadership, right? So talk to, um, you know, talk to the listeners about, you know, the, the connections, I would say, what was surprising because it's all surprising, right? Like, you know, you meet these women and you'd be like, I like y'all immediately. I don't know how this is happening. <laughs> like, I think we're going to talk forever. So what was, what was, you know, connecting with other women um, that you had never met before? Like what was surprising to you about that? And then how, um, you know, how did those relationships assist you, you know, then and now? Well, what I didn't have before was the, a lot of the women, when we're in a high position, there's a lot of women who are in competition with each other because that's the, the culture, especially in politics. And this is a boy's world, right? Like there's a boy's club. And, you know, when you're trying to burst the bubble, it's almost like they put us at each other's throat. So we're competing. And instead of us really complimenting each other, we're just competing with each other, even if it's just by default, because we're not even having conversation, right? It's the eye rolling. It's the, I'm better than you. It's the um, talking back to you in meetings in a negative way, instead of chiming in and saying, let's do this collectively. So it's just been over the years of like nonsense and, and makes you question your persona, your look, your just everything. It makes you question everything about yourself. So what I received in this um, group in this, in, I'm telling you so much because I have, I know my girls are on here, Miriam and Simone, all of them, they're on here. The bond has been so fresh to identify myself in my sisters, my sister queens, I identify myself in them. And I'm like, we just, we're, we're love. We're bubble of joy. We're love. We just want to be seen and acknowledged and appreciated for who we are. So I love that I have that with them. I also have that with my other, you know, my Dominicanas, I have that with them. And it's like, there's nothing that I feel fearless in the sense of, I could just be very transparent and genuine and I'm being appreciated for being my bubbly self. Right. And, and that's what we, we really, we kind of, we, we, we all really need that to some place. We all really need that to some extent. Um, community, community is called right. Community allyship, just finding that bond of someone who can call you just innocently and be like, look, sis, I want to celebrate you elevate me and, and vibrationally. Right. Because we're all, vibration we're all frequency so i love that and this has nothing to do with age right no discrimination because i've also received that over the years i've always been like the youngest one uh, in in leadership in any company i've worked with and and or the only one who was of a particular um not only gender but also like a cultural group and some folks were like she's too ghetto i don't fit the profile the checklist for some folks I can't hear you because you're, you're muted, homegirl. <laughs> I mute myself on purpose in the background. Who <laughs> call? No, you're you're you know is when you're out of alignment with with people who don't appreciate for you being who you are. You're not ghetto. You're just Denise. Like yeah. this is who I am. Oh, right. I am. So I just I've gotten a lot of the you're passive aggressive over the years, or um, you're you're staying your lane, Denise, and I'm more like. I'm an innovator. I'm a creator. Like I know what I do. I work very well with teams. I work well with people. And I know that I know that my presence is my power wherever I go. So even if you're like confused and sometimes they're like, we need fresh pr perspective. And I come to the room, I'm like, you got it. You got it. I help you through it. And I, I know that. So I sit in my power, which I love so much. <laughs> I sit in my power. I love it so much. Um, and I mentioned, you know, something about this program and also one of the things that's been very, very um, helpful to me, and I mentioned to one of my sisters the other day, I said, there's, there's so much power when we pivot, right? When we pivot our perspective on stuff. Um, just that slight pivot just changed everything for me, like, like breakthrough everything for me. And so I really want, go ahead, sorry. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's break it down. Mm -hmm. So what had happened was, <laughs> what had happened? What had happened was we had a call and I wrote down a list of things from your childhood where, I, where what we do is we'd be like, we know any, most of the stuff that you're stuck in today, 
most of the stuff that is plaguing you know men and women today a yeah. lot of the challenges that you're having today is unresolved stuff from the past mm-hmm. right that's how we're different we care about your job we care about the money but we really care about getting you free from the pattern and everything will flow <laughs> so i wrote down a whole list of things right uh-huh. and then when you know i think it was we five or six i came on uh you know with cassandra who's here hey cassandra girl hey, cassandra. Um, <laughs> and and you were stuck telling the same raggedy story in like six weeks and we weren't having that because we mm-hmm. want you to be free over here vision international so <laughs> it's okay. I, I listen <laughs> I listened to the story of your current stuff that you would not let go of, but you wouldn't let it go. And then I went back to my notes of what we first talked about from your childhood. And all I did was wrote then and then now. Actually, no, this I no, I listened, but then I was like, tell me about your job. And then, you know, and you know, some of the current challenges, because it's not necessarily all about the job. Like, tell me some of the current challenges. And then I wrote it down. It was now. And then I wrote down five things. Then I went back to your childhood thing and mirrored those exact Mm -hmm. five things, like, and wrote it in your, you were like, my God. Like we're focused on the wrong thing. You're, you're talking about everything that's happening today. You won't let it go. It won't like, you can't resolve it. Six weeks. You should be free. That's all you needed right there. So what happened, you know, once you, when you saw it and then what's happened since and how you show up. Yeah. Once I saw that, I said, that was that pivot. I had to do the work. I had to do major work. I sat in it. I sat like in my shit, right? Like, cause that's what people <laughs> don't want to say. I sat in my shit of that nonsense of that story. Um, and it's so hard to find it sometimes. So that depiction was, mm-hmm. I'm really grateful that you did that because that was like that real divine breakthrough that I really needed to just get it out, just get it out. So from there to now, it's like, I've been grinning. You have been, it's funny because you've been giving like assignments to my other sisters. And I'm like, I'm taking that for me. I'm taking that for me. So I started going on vacation. I started pampering myself, you know, on my time, my time in, I was just like, I've been writing love letters to myself, just everything. You know, um, we had a good call. I got my, my wand. I wear my crowns all the time, but and I say crowns because I have two of them. I have two crowns. I wake up to music. I love dancing. You know, we've been sharing. We've been supportive of sharing like the good music to just shift our energy. And when we're in that good, good energy, that's when you're creating the most, right? That's when you're manifesting, being intentional, creating the most because you're in that good vibration. Um, And everything just shifted. Even when I went back to work, I was just like, this is what I want. So there was a couple of things I wrote. Like I wanted to like just not have long, stressful days at work. I wanted to travel more, which I have been traveling. You probably see the map behind me. I have been traveling a lot. It's been manifesting a lot. <laughs> um, and just my relationships with everyone else, right? There's been so many great opportunities coming to me. Like people in my job, and not in my job, new folks that I, I meet a lot of wonderful, new, um, innovative companies. And they come to me and they're just like, you're glowing. You're beautiful. You're glowing. You have this great energy. I want you on. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just my inner work. It's my power, right? It's my inner power. And I know that love is my superpower. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm in it. I want to have this great, just, I'm aligned. I'm divinely aligned because it's being divinely aligned has even eliminated the folks that don't even need to be in my energy. I got to put that out there, right? I got to put that out there. So making space for new energy to come in and it's just been like fruitful, wonderful relationships. Amazing. Even with, with my work, I'm just like, you know what? I'm in, I'm out. I get what I need to get done. Nothing phases me. There's been other opportunities, you know, that I've been blessed with. And I'm just like basking in my joy, basking in, in love, basking in love. <laughs> hey, Chris Rutherford here. Do you want to learn how to ask for and get a 30% raise without getting another degree? Look, Black women are the most educated and the least paid. That should tell you that that math is not mathing. The degree is not the path to the next level. It's actually learning how to articulate the value and take credit for the work that you've already done. So I want to invite you to get my free case study at changenowwithchristy.com. 
just get the information, use it, and take the money out of the hands of your employers and put it into your household because you already deserve it. You just have to know how to ask for it. Again, changenowwithchristy.com. I can't wait for you to get this insight. Use it and get the money that you deserve. Take care. So, so let's talk about it. Um, so basically, the, it was a perspective shift. That's that's really that all you need. needed. But yeah. but you also talked about you you said it couple, you know a couple of times in different ways. Cultivating positive energy, manifesting vibrations, high energy, happiness. And so what I tell women today, if you want to stick out in leadership today, if you want to, uh, you know, exceed any candidate that you're competing with today in interviews, be happy, period. Yep. That's all you need, because everybody is going through some ish. I mean, if and if people haven't confessed that they've been going through some ish since 2020, shame on them. It's like y'all living in a bubble. So it's like it's up to the individual to bring themselves out of it, because I think that, you know, 2020. Well, I know I, and I talk about it all the time that, you know, when y'all were locked in the house because I was on the beach. But in 2020, y'all got locked in the house with y'all decisions. Yeah. Right. The things that you decided and what you didn't decide about of how you wanted to live your best life. And so now it's like you're happy and things are now starting to come to you. All of a sudden, things that were available to you, yeah. but not accessible to you because you weren't energetically aligned with it. Yep. Right. Yeah. Well said. Well said. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so talk about, you know, what are, you know, two or three things that women can do, right? The women who listen on the line and they were like, this lady's so happy. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> uh, I don't know what, what kind of coffee she drinking because people oh. always go ahead. No, go ahead. So a couple of things that I do. I know there's a lot of energy. There's a lot of energy. <laughs> I love your book, your journal. I don't know if I'm putting it right. This was a great way because I journal a lot. I have my own journals, but this, this was a great way to discipline oneself to really do the work. That's one of the things I have to say, to do the work. Yes, this disciplines you to do the work. Um, and not because this is a public service announcement is I highly, I'm so grateful that I joined your program. That I, I I took the classes and I'm still in it. You have been giving me like an a, a certain an enormous amount of joy and support in what I you know and doing the work on myself. Um, I I mentioned this to one of my sisters the other day. I said, listen, what what Christy brings to us is this program through your work. You have basically given us permission to be great and happy. You get you given us the tools. To, to be great and happy, right? Because sometimes that's all we need. We need a, a little bit of acknowledgement. We need someone to tell us, go ahead and you could get this done. And by doing the work, by giving us the videos you have given us, the books and just being on top of us and, and reinforcing us, you really have given us the, the permission to just say, be freaking great. And I know that's something one can do themselves, but the community, the support, it was just necessary. It was necessary for me to feel it from someone else and to witness, more importantly, to witness women who are already free in it, right? Who are basking in the joy of it. So it, it's, I'm telling you this, I don't even know what else to say. It's just like so great to be in this energy. <laughs> 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 to just feel it, right? I'm discovering more and more about myself and more and more my, of my friends and, and my community here, my supportive <laughs> VF, VF, I, VF, M ladies. I put both of them on them. Mm -hmm. Um, through this journey and you know you and you you you've been very inspiring to all of us right because you are of top rank your your bio is like a long ass roller <laughs> and it's like if you could do it, and i know that you were in a world where you're like the only woman with all these men and it's like how do we break this how do we break this bubble how do we pop a little bit and, and make a little bit of impact right i just need a little bit of air so yeah, that's one thing I'd say. And definitely the the being intentional in the morning, setting your intentions, whether through this or journaling, affirmations, um, eliminating the music, the movies, the news, anything that's negative and is pouring into your, to making it worse, right? Because we marinate at night when we sleep. So you got to be intentional of what you're putting in your mind and in your spirit, um, elevating yourself spiritually, whatever you believe in, whatever 
religious background, whatever you want to do, but be intentional when you're doing that. I would definitely give that advice to folks because I've been very intentional spiritually, you know, and I, like I said, I write love letters to myself. I stick it in my Bible and I'm like, God, it's me and you, you and me. I, I know I'm God. I'm vibrating from here. So I need, I need folks to feel it too. Right. Cause it just, I can't only raise the vibration for you. You got to raise it for yourself. You know, the, there's a scripture in the Bible that says by your fruits, you shall know them. Right. Yeah. And, and so I tell women all the time, you can be just as weirdly happy as I am. That's what I want for y'all. <laughs> really happy. You're funny. <laughs> it's, it's because it's weird for us as adults and as women and as powerful women to actually have peace, to have joy is not common. I would say that. And so does that make sense? So I'm, when I say weird, it's weird because we now live in a, in a world of normalized chaos. Yeah. We, we live in a world of normalized mental health. We live in a world of people accepting, I was going to cuss, marketing uh, uh, conditions. I cursed uh, already, Chrissy, so go ahead. <laughs> this, ain't, this ain't the time. Uh, we, we, we've accepted high functioning anxiety and high functioning depression, which is my opinion, marketing terms to be able to sell medication, right? right? Because that's just understanding that your high functioning anxiety and high functioning depression means that you acknowledge that you have something that you ain't going to do nothing about. Yeah. And doctors will give you a way out to say you have this condition and it's permanent, which is a, a MF and lie. It's just like, if you choose to be happy, right? And, and, I, and, and the hardest thing I get uh, you know, for me, Denise, is getting uh, women to believe that y'all can actually be happy. You know what I'm saying, right? Like, even when you started, you fought for six weeks and would not let the story go. Yeah. So what are, what are your thoughts or what advice do you have for women who are looking at you right now and they're like, yeah, she's happy, she's free, but that can't happen for me. When I talk to women and say, you can be happy, and have a good job. It's it's easier to believe. Mm -hmm. I think going on and off. Can y'all see me? No, you're it's good. It's easier I think. to believe. Okay, that women come to me and be like, I want I want a better job. I'll be like, but you can have a great life too. They'd be like, I ain't asked you for all that, <laughs> right? Get angry when I say <laughs> you can be happy too. They don't want that. They just want a good job. So, mm -hmm. what advice do you have for women who are looking at you saying? Yeah, she got happy, but that can't happen to me. It can everything is 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 possible. That's the first thing. And every, every, your your inner happiness translates to everything, to yourself, to your job, to your family, like however whatever joy you're carrying around, it translates everywhere. And more importantly, if you're not happy, you're gonna make yourself sick. Because because spiritually it starts in your mind, then it, it, it ferments into your body, you get sick somewhere, and what are we doing? Right. Like you prefer to being a sick person and saying, I still have my job and walking around and, you know, lugging yourself around. I would say really be intentional about doing the work. And and when you're making when you make up your mind that you really want this, because when you really, really, really want it, you would allow people to practice tough love with you. Literally. And just face it and go, get through it and don't get offended, even if it hurts and you say, damn, that's a low blow. It hurt a little bit. But be conscious that it's something that you really needed to hear so that you can move forward, right? Because it's something that sometimes we see it and we're intentionally suppressing it. Intentionally, I said that word. So once somebody else is unpacking it because we think that the world is not seeing it and they unpack it for you, help you unpack it, do the work and get rid of it. Because what's the best that can happen? Forget the what's the worst. We already know what's the worst. But what is the best that can happen? Tell me. I challenge everyone to... Ask himself, what is the best that can happen if I if I move forward with this or if I let go of this story or if I decided to say yes to myself and taking myself out or going somewhere by myself and, and releasing my friends for a little bit? Because sometimes in this, in, there's a scripture that says we got to separate ourselves, right, from others so that we can do the work so we can know who we really are, the Jesus in us, right? That just that, That's just what it is. So my advice would be that it's just... Suck it up, put your ego to the side, or speak to your ego and tell your ego, listen, this ain't working, this ain't functioning. We gotta coexist. And how we coexisting is let me do the work because I need to be in a happier place. And then more importantly for my ladies, y'all wanna look younger, right? 
<laughs> happiness translates into young youngness. You see it, so it really comes out. You 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 and you know it just vibrates out of you. People see it, so. Hey, Chris Rutherford here. If you want to learn how to get a 30% raise this year without getting another degree, go ahead and get my free case study and get this information. Use it. You can go to changenowwithchristy.com, changenowwithchristy.com. It's about 30 minutes. Use the insight, own your value, and get paid what you desire and deserve. Take care. See you soon. What's the best that can happen? Yeah, I see Miriam. <laughs> I am like I'm sitting here uh, like I can feel and if y'all can't feel <clears throat> Denise's energy through this line, y'all need to check your pulse because I can <laughs> I can feel like, you know, your power and and it's and it's stable. <laughs> right, Ooh, you're, yes, you're stable because you're not you're no longer hiding or suppressing your power like you are a woman of power and I always talk about how. You know, we were born powerful and and the challenge that we have as powerful women is suppressing our power, uh, distorting our power to make other people comfortable. Now we're uncomfortable and then our power gets toxic. So now we're 10,000 volts of toxicity. Yes. <laughs> so now, now we we're walking around, dumping on everybody. Yeah. Walking in the room, burning, melting the paint off the wall, moving <laughs> the furniture. And we're like electrocuting people through our toxicity. But the thing about it is, is becoming um, or be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind is restoring yourself back to a pure heart where your where your light can shine. And now you can be light for the world that needs it. Yes. Um, well said. I'm so proud of you. I'm so thank proud. you. I'm just be like, my God, Denise is on this piece shining like I mean, and you just started late June. And it, like the year is not even over with yet. So a lot of women came into 2022 talking about they were going to be better. They didn't do anything different to be better. Like you just, and this is just the beginning. It is the beginning. It is the beginning. And yes, there's a lot of people who are like the same, you know, the craziness, repeating the craziness and not being intentional. I was very intentional. I've been since the pandemic, I've been very intentional of I got to figure out why I'm stuck because I feel like I'm right there. It's breaking through. I'm right there. And I don't know what's holding me back. So I've taken other programs as well, and they've been helpful for that moment. But this one really, this program really helped me just like break through. So I got some news to share if you allow me. Okay. So Cassandra, one of the talks, and I don't know if you got on, on this conversation, but um, one of our group calls, um, which I appreciate that we do it, that we see each other, right? I wish it was like more like a real person or more person, but that's really good setting. I had told I was a little more advanced than myself because I was like, I need to figure these things out quickly. Dabble here and dabble there in the program. Um, I wrote a love letter of qualities I want. I don't know if you see it here. There was a lot of things and I mentioned it to Cassandra and the ladies and I was like, I know what I want. And a man, not not the, the way a man looks like, but qualities that I would love that would complement the person that I know I am, right? So yesterday, my love bug proposed to me. <laughs> so I'm ex extremely- Yes, excited. congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I am so yes. excited. Yes, yes. so excited and so in love. And Ooh, so good. It's been amazing because I think I mentioned the call. I was like, I want a man. And blah, blah, blah. I mentioned in one of my calls and I'm like, maybe I have to go out and what's going on. But then I was just like, no, I want, I want, I was very intentional, like the new moons and the full moons. And I was doing my rituals and writing my letters. And I'm like, God, they, I know you got this man for me with these qualities going to, it's going to just enhance my, my power. And we're going to be a power couple. And literally my sister's on this call. My sister Bianca's on this, on this watching. And she is like, she confirmed it. You guys are a power couple. You guys are amazing together. Um, and it's great to get that compliment from my sister and just my friends and saying, you deserve this because I've been waiting for this for a very long time. Wait, did you, did, is this a new dude or is this, or is, did you what? have this dude in your Rolodex? I, he, I, he was in my Rolodex. <laughs> <laughs> so him and I, Tommy and I dated many, 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 many years ago, like 15 years ago. And we just like were crazy for each other, but it was like, it wasn't the right, the right time for both of us. And I've always like thought about him here and there, I dated, I married, I did other stuff. And this is where we are now. We're 
we rekindled. It was a great timing. We, you know, his son called me for some help on some work related stuff. And I saw him and we just started talking. And he's like, you know, you look great. And I'm like, you look great. And <laughs> And Wait, it was when did y'all rekindle? I gotta get the timeline. Everybody going crazy on the, <laughs> on the chat. They going well, crazy. I went, to, I went back to work. When was it? August. I went back to work. I I done a couple of vacations. Thank you, ladies. I went back to work, and immediately I was just like, there was one day I was just vibrating. And I was like, I feel really good today, and blah blah blah. Like I I <laughs> put every love song in the freaking in in my Pandora that I can hear. I have my crown on. I was talking to myself with my candle saying, you know, my wand here saying, you know what, you're the bomb diggity, you're a queen, you're going to be someone misses, and this is a, I'm the bomb.com. I said everything to myself. That whole week, that whole week I was being intentional. And when I got the call and then I met and I told my best friend that who's on this call too, I was just like, oh my God, tell me, you know, tell me, call me his son and I'm going to meet him for lunch. And ever since then, like we, we, we talked about like work stuff that I can help him with. And then that Friday, he's like, what are you doing? Then he's like, come out, let's, you know, let's do dinner. And it's been like every weekend since then. It's just been weekends, every weekend. But I just felt it in my spirit. I'm like, oh my God, this man is amazing. He's like everything. Like I feel so safe, so certain, so secure, so seen and acknowledged and love. Like this man loves me. He loves me. And I was just like, yeah, because I love myself. I love myself so I can receive it. I'm open to this love because I can receive it. So it's been so good, so genuine, you know, genuine, full of respect. Oh, it's just a lot of stuff. <laughs> That's what we do over here at Vision Fund International. What's wrong with y'all? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I want to scream like Wu Tang. Right? Like, um, <laughs> so you started in June. We bust your head open in July. All right. It's pretty much what happened, yeah. and then <laughs> and then you and then you got it, like right, like once you got that breakthrough, then all the work that we had been telling you to do made sense. Then you went all in because that's pretty much what happened, yeah. right? Like once you once you got it, you were like, oh, okay. So all I needed was to move that one piece out the way. Now I'm gonna go and do everything, mm -hmm. and you actually, you know, you went. You didn't go overboard. You just committed. You were like, oh, Ooh. shit. <laughs> now I'm cussing. <laughs> That's all I needed. And, and you know, I tell people all the time we work with successful women because once you once you see the wall, y'all have already proven that y'all work. You're going to run mm -hmm. through the wall. you like this. So that's the wall right there. Once you ran through it, then coincidentally, his son called and y'all reconnected. Mm -hmm. And now you engaged. Yes. <laughs> in in six months, everything with, happened. With like the guy that you wrote down with the dream guy. I, mean, oh God, I love to say I, I love y'all to prove me right. I love that. that Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I am so like it's it's one year of like hell and heaven at the same time. <laughs> hell and heaven because I was going through hell the first couple of months of this year, like. Not tell, my, by the way, my mother didn't even know that I had cancer. I still didn't tell her. So if she sees this, she would know. And some family members. But I went through hell. And then I hit heaven. Like, I'm mm. in pure bliss right now. Pure bliss. It's just like, and I and I wish this for everyone, too. Like, yes. this, this call is so important because I wish it for every single person on this call who's watching. And the, and the ones who are yet to watch, because, you know, there's going to be the highly watched episode. Yeah, yeah, I don't care what yeah, nobody uh, says. <laughs> yeah. I'm declaring it all come true. Yeah, and I'm just like I really want people to understand that there's so much power in yourself. Love yourself up. Be intentional. Pivot. Take that chance mm -hmm. of pivoting, right? Because the perspective—that's all you need to do is pivot out to see the better perspective, and then and then flow from there. Just flow because yeah. it's gonna come to you. I, I want I want this type of love for everyone. It's very blissful. It's genuine. It's really amazing. <laughs> it's been so amazing. Like. I'm like, I'm always like this. I tell the girls in my chat, I'm like, my face hurts of so much smiling. Yeah. Hey, Chrissy Rutherford here, inviting you to join my private community, Money Loves Happy People. Yes. The information is so good. We do live interviews. I have hundreds of on-demand videos in this community, including my signature course, how to use the superpower method to write an irresistible resume, 
my other course, Seven Keys to Getting the Raise That You Desire and Deserve. I made hundreds of videos from amazing thought leaders from around the world. You have access to on demand. Go ahead, register, join us in this community, get this insight and get paid what you desire and deserve. Take care. This is it's <laughs> so good, Denise, because <clears throat> you had hell and then you made a decision, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I talk to women who are in hell all the time. I just, my God, you, you deserve better. It's not that hard. Y'all are in the way. Does that make sense? Your yep. thoughts are in the way. Your old patterns are in the way. You can be free. You can have joy. Yeah. You can have raggedy internet on the holidays because you on the beach on some remote <laughs> island. Does that make sense? be like this. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm on a remote island right now, so my internet is kind of slow. Right? Like, you can have it all, and we're so focused on just the job and we're and we're missing the other you know 99.9% .9 of our life only focused on I want a better job everything is going to fall into place you said when I he loves me because I learned how to love myself yep hmm, when we going to meet the mister we're having <laughs> I don't know. He's he's always busy working, but one of these days, of course, of course, somebody's gonna meet him. I do want to say because you're always talking about the beach. Remember, I got in a couple of calls, me being on the beach, and I uh -huh. tell people find your place, right? Because it's um sometimes we just need to be away from the chaos, work, streets, like our neighbor, a typical neighborhood. Like go to the beach, go on a hike, get away from the noise, everyday noise. And like I told one of my my sisters the other day, Miriam, I said. Go to the park and take a walk. The trees are going to speak to you. The birds are going to speak to you. Like nature was created to really, you know, satisfy our soul and speak to us and be one with us. The beach is for me, like, like you, like I love the beach. I love the beach. I was on the beach in the nighttime. When I got in the car, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to make it, but I just love it. And I think that we need to be intentional about pampering ourselves or whatever you want to call it, self-care, pampering, making time, put it on your schedule, people. Ladies, schedule time for yourself. Like, be intentional about scheduling time for yourself. Not the manicure and getting the hair done because that's like part of the, the superficial stuff that we need to do for society and for work. But really, like, if, if you're getting a manicure, like, compliment the woman who's massaging your hand. Like, those little things of being in a place of gratitude is so, like, impactful. It just really shifts everything. Just sitting in gratitude of what's even yet to come. Like I literally would eat food and just like sit there and savor and be like, yo, this is so good for my body. <laughs> like I love it, you know? So I think that's the energy that I would really want for, I desire that for everyone. I really do desire this for everyone because it's, and if you're not gonna get it, then then see me from, from that side. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Denise, what advice do you have for women who are on the fence of whether or not they should work with us? I know this has been a whole testimonial, but you know, um, and I'm so proud of you. I am so happy Thank for you. you. Like Thank this you. is Thank you. I remember you. who you were, who you were in June when you had to get drugged through the mud. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And in yeah. July when you still ain't get it, being all dramatic, and now mm -hmm. to see, you know, that that's what we do. Right. Like that's that's our joy. This is our mission is to like set you all free from yourselves, because I already know that God has something higher and greater waiting for you. If you just get out of the way yeah. and we don't know what's going to pop out. I know that something will pop out. Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah it does. Absolutely. It does. Um, I would say to the to anyone who's hesitant, if they're not already taking your program, who's a little hesitant is to at least, you know, Find the time to, you know, have conversation with you and see what 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 is the issue, what's making them not. Because I think that's the way we signed up, right? We did a phone call. I was like, I think I'm going to sign up for this. But I was like, wait, I got to talk to this woman first, just in case. And I would highly encourage everyone to find the time and the space. And if you feel like after having a conversation with you, if you feel that you need a little more time, then be intentional about putting in your calendar how much time you need, right? Like an expiration date, because that's that's setting the boundaries. and for yourself and for and the commitment, right, for yourself and saying like jobs or, or, or stuff that we do, projects that we do, that we're like, we know it needs to be done by such and such time, then be, but you need to be intentional about the time that you set for yourself when you want breakthrough. So I, I my advice would be that is, you know, tap into this program, figure out what is it, when it works for you, 
The great thing about this program is that you're not really giving us an expiration time. When we get in it, if we don't get the breakthrough, we can, you know, continue our time with you. So I think that support is really necessary. Um, and and great, and I'm grateful for it, by the way. Because when you said that to me the first time, I said, okay, good. It's not only six weeks, and if I don't get it, she's kicking me off. No, you said you said I'm committed to making sure that I'm helping you break through. And that was enough for me to say, I feel safe. She's gonna really help me out. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it somewhere, somehow. So I would definitely tell folks, put it in your in your schedule, be intentional about signing up, um, be intentional about being a bit of being in the program, even if you don't get, if nothing resonates with you right away, be intentional about doing the work, you know, hearing the videos, doing the work. Again, we marinate at night and all day. So be very careful what you're putting in your mind. And, you know, also just, it's a, it's sometimes that's required like boot camp in the military. You know, you have three months of boot camp. After three months, it's either you get, jump off the ship or you, or you stay committed. So this is what it is. It's like a, a boot camp part for your life, for a transformational boot camp. So I would definitely encourage folks to tap into this program, tap into your chats, you know, go into your LinkedIn because you have a lot of other interview with phenomenal women um, mm -hmm. and see who resonates with you and see if this is something that, you know, could be helpful to you. Not only at work, because I know you pitch it with like raises and stuff. This was more transformational for me of being intentional of what I really want in my life for myself and knowing that I have tremendous power wherever I go and I'm in, you know, I'm impactful and a leader. So other areas. Do you, do you think that it's, it's, it's two things, but then we're going to close because we'll be on here for the next 10 <laughs> hours. You and I could talk, we need to do another interview because we could talk for like a million hours. <laughs> so I was, we did the event in Vegas a couple weeks ago and I told the women that I did a breakthrough. I did a breakthrough call with some women who were in weeks four to six and all the women were like, Ooh, <laughs> y'all gonna get free over here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> because the, you know how we are. Like our goal is you come here, you've invested your money. We even we're investing our time. Mm -hmm. Y'all gonna get free. Yeah. Uh, and and, and uh, we ain't playing. So we only. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Y'all are a lot, you know, I'm like, I created a, I created a, a, a business around yeah. high achieving alpha women. It's, yeah. It's my joy uh, to drag y'all through the mud, but sometimes y'all need that. Um, so do you think, <clears throat> because I, uh, last weekend I did an event and I had um, Joyce on, Joyce who completed a program last year. Oh gosh, she's so freaking, just, Joyce looks like she's 12. Um, you know, do you think that you'll ever go back? Because a lot of times, you know, y'all y'all can backslide. But I always tell women, once you once you find that joy and you get this bubble and, and you get into alignment, you will never let it go again from this stage. Like, do you think that you'll ever be who you were in June? Absolutely again? not. Absolutely not. Yeah. Oh, it's just getting better and better for me. It's getting better and better for me. So... I don't, I think that this is something is worth, is worth it. It's worth the investment. And it's something that, I mean, who wants to live in hell, right? Purgatory is all around us. Everything else is hell. Like why, why would we want to, you know, there's so much crazy stuff happening. You watch the news, crazy stuff happening, but I really feel, listen, when you're in your joy, you're listening to the, to God speak to you, your spirit speaks to you. So you will know to, you know, pivot from go somewhere else from danger. You will know like, I think there was a day that I think it was Cassandra or, or Miriam. There was a day that my gut was telling me, don't leave my house. Don't leave my house. And I even called her and I was just like, damn, I should have listened to my spirit because I left my house. And guess what happened? Not one block, not one block away from my house where I, when I started driving, crashed my car. Crashed my car. And I was just like, I was so, I was, forget about the car being crashed. I was so upset that I wasn't paying attention to my spirit. And my spirit clearly told me, don't leave the house. So when you're, and that only happens when you're really divinely aligned, when you're in that joyful place where you know how to block out the everyday noise and you're listening to your inner spirit. And this has been a very, a, a tremendous breakthrough, a portion, a part of doing the work, right? To this program, but I've been doing, I had to commit myself to do the work. So yes, you never go back. You just stay in your glory and it just gets better and better. It's better and better. <laughs> All right, man. Well, I'm gonna let you go. Don't hang up. 
because uh, we gotta we gotta have a, a we gotta unpack a call uh, when y'all <laughs> when, when we hang up. Um, but one, thank you for showing up, uh, ladies. I have my uh, a virtual event. <clears throat> Hopefully, my Wi-Fi will be better tomorrow. Uh, you can go to levelupwithchristy.com and you can register for uh, my event, How to Calculate Your Value in the Market, where we're going to be showing you how to get a $50,000 raise in the next 90 days. But we also are going to talk about how to unpack what you've been dragging around yes. so you can get your money. It's not about the money, but we want our money too. But we want our money too. Yes. <laughs> it ain't always about the money over here at Vision Finder International. But we want our money too. We want our money. We want our peace. We want our joy. We want, you know, the dream life, right? We want the dream life. And um, and then the job finds its way in there. Um, so again, thank you so much, Denise. Thank you all for showing thank up, you. everybody. Thank you, everyone. Let's see that ring again. Let's see that ring again. Ow. Wait, it's going somewhere, right? <laughs> There she go. There she go. You was hiding that, that, that finger the whole time. You was, I'm going to keep my hand right yep, here. Like <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all have a great weekend. Have a great Thank holiday weekend. Thanks for joining one. us. All right. Hey, Chris Rutherford here. Thank you so much for checking out this episode of our podcast. We greatly appreciate it. Go ahead and like and subscribe to this podcast and leave us a review. I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. While you're here, text change now to 66866 and get my free insight. It's about a 15 minute video that talks about how to leave your bad job and get a 30% pay increase this year. Look, you don't have to stay in a raggedy job. Leave the job, but you need a plan. So go ahead and text change now to 66866. Get this insight, use it, and your life will never be the same for the best. See you in the next episode.